soil itself is used as a construction material while constructing engineering structures such as roads earth dams landfills etc it is also used in the foundation of buildings but as we know soil is made up of small particles and they have small empty space between them which we call pores or voids in case of dams huge amount of water may percolate through these voids out of the dam while in case of roads or buildings weight of running vehicles and weight of building itself may cause the soil pores to shrink and that may result in undesired settlement of the structure the position and the elevation of the structure changes which increases unnecessary maintenance cost and sometimes it may even leads to structural failure with proper techniques and care we can decrease these pores and densify the soil before constructing any structure on it so that settlement of the soil after the construction is very less and manageable the denser the soil the lesser it settles good but how do we do that well that is a process called compaction for construction of any structure we need its base the soil below to be strong we want the soil in the base to be incompressible so that it does not settles in high amount with time we want it to be stable against volume change as water content or any other such factors vary to achieve this we employ method of soil compaction soil compaction is a crucial part of the construction process it is the process of pressing the soil by mechanical methods such as rolling and tamping by compaction we make soil more tightly packed and solid and provide a strong foundation for the structures to be built upon as we know soil is composed of solid particles and voids that may contain air and uh, or water when soil is loose or not compacted it contains lots of voids these voids make soil weak and less stable it does not provide much support during compaction external forces are applied to the soil which causes soil particles to rearrange and come closer volume of voids shrink and the air that may be present in them is expelled out this decreases soil's volume which in turn increases its density higher the density lesser is the settlement under the load and we say the soil is compacted hence compaction is a process that aims to increase the soil's density and decrease its void spaces by applying mechanical energy or force we just discussed higher the density lesser is the settlement under the load also higher the density higher is the strength of the soil by strength we mean the ability of soil to resist being moved by an applied force and to support a load without getting crushed or deformed we may ask how does the increased density increases the soil strength during the compaction the applied pressure or compactive effort causes the particles to push against each other more forcefully 
This leads to an increase in contact forces between the particles. The higher contact forces create stronger bonds and connections between the particles, resulting in a cohesive and a stable soil structure. Also, because of compaction, particles become interlocked, which creates friction and resistance to movement between particles. This closeness of particles allows the load to be distributed more efficiently across the compacted soil and reduces localized stress concentrations. This uniform load transfer helps prevent excessive deformation under applied loads which is also called failure of the soil. Hence, strength of the soil is increased. In case of water retaining structures like dams, the water that seeps through the walls of an earth dam reduces the strength of the embankment soil because this flowing water is erosive in nature which erodes soil particles and decreases the soil density. So by compacting the embankment soil we achieve high density soil embankment. Higher the soil density implies it contains a less amount of voids. Consequently, permeability of the soil will be reduced and thereby reduced seepage of water. Great, but how do we do this compaction thing? Compaction is commonly performed using heavy machinery and equipments such as vibratory compactors, rollers or compacting plates. There are different methods of compacting the soil such as vibration, impact, kneading, pressure. In gravel and sand type of soils, we usually choose vibrational equipments to cause a reorientation of the soil particles into a denser configuration. While in silt and clay soils, a sheaf foot roller is frequently used to create small zones of intense shearing to bring air out of the soil. The compaction is usually done in layers which are sometimes also called lifts. Each layer is compacted before the next one is added. Good. We know how to compact a soil but how do we know how much we have compacted it? The amount of compaction is measured by the dry density of the soil. Dry density is the density of soil when soil is in completely dry state, which means no water is present in its pores. So dry density of soil is mass of soil solids only divided by its volume. Dry density is a measure of how densely packed or compacted the soil is. The objective of compaction is to achieve maximum possible dry density of compacted soil. Because higher the soil dry density, less amount of voids it will contain and higher will be its strength. We have understood that compaction is done to improve engineering properties of soil. Compaction increases bearing capacity of soil foundations. Compacted soil can support heavier loads without excessive settlement or deformation. Compaction increases the shear strength of soil. It increases the resistance against shear forces, thereby reducing the likelihood of slope failure or soil movement. Compaction decreases permeability of soil. It reduces the soil pores, making it less permeable to water. This prevents excessive seepage and improves the performance of water retaining structures. In addition to these, compaction also enhances frost resistance. 
as the compacted soil has fewer voids, limiting the amount of water that can penetrate and freeze within the soil, thus minimizing frost damage. Compaction also control undesirable volume change in soil. Compaction can prevent the buildup of large water pressures that cause soil to liquefy during earthquakes. We should note few important points about compaction. First is that compaction is an artificial process caused by mechanical means such as rollers. It doesn't happen by itself like other process named consolidation. Second that in compaction decrease in volume and increase in the density of soil occurs due to expulsion of air from the voids. Third, that compaction is more effective in partially saturated soil than in completely saturated soils because the excess water fills most of the void spaces making it harder for soil particles to move and rearrange as efficiently. This limits the improvement of soil density. Fourth is that compaction is a short term process. It is completed within minutes. We apply force or vibration from machines and the soil is compacted. Fifth, that compaction is caused by dynamic loads that are short term. They are removed once the process of compaction is completed. Sixth, compaction is more effective in well graded soils containing gravel and sand, while it is less effective in soils containing sits and clays. Because gravel and sand particles are generally angular, irregular in shape, which contributes to better particle interlocking during compaction. Also, sills and clays, which are finer particles, are more cohesive and plastic. This cohesion makes it more difficult for the particles to move and rearrange during compaction. Also, these finer particles become sticky when mixed with water, which hinders particle movement during compaction. It is important to note that while soil compaction provides several benefits, but excessive compaction also have negative consequences. Excessive compaction can lead to a significant reduction in soil permeability, making it difficult for water to penetrate the soil. This reduced permeability can result in poor drainage, hence causing potential water logging. The lack of infiltration also leads to increased surface runoff and erosion. Excessive compaction adversely affect soil microorganisms and macroorganisms, disrupting the soil ecosystem. These organisms play essential roles in nutrient cycling, organic matter decomposition and overall soil health. Also, excessive compaction inhibits plant roots penetration through the soil and limit the movement of water and air through the soil which negatively impacts soil fertility and aeration. Therefore, to mitigate potential negative consequences of compaction, it is crucial to perform thorough site investigation, carefully consider the soil type follow appropriate compaction specifications and guidelines based on the project requirements and use of the right equipment for the desired compaction. Sometimes after construction we may have to decompact the areas around the structure to be landscaped so that vegetations and the ecosystem below can grow. There is a new diary design for civil engineers in Professor O's store. It is available as both plain and ruled papers. All the diaries at Professor O are homemade 
and each one is crafted with love and attention to details. They are best to pen down your brilliant ideas. You can also plan your days, count your blessings, make notes, or you can just doodle in them. Getting one of these from professor or store is the best way to support this channel. You can also buy this print on t-shirt and other stuff on my spread shop. Elementary Engineering receives lots of love via beautiful comments and lovely emails. Thank you everyone for showing your love to this channel. Also thank you very much members and patrons of Elementary Engineering for supporting this channel monetarily. If you think Elementary Engineering has given you knowledge that worth something to you. Consider supporting this channel by becoming the member of this channel here on YouTube or you can also consider becoming a patron on Patreon. And the best way is to buy something from Professor and get something in return. If none of them resonates with you, spreading a word about elementary engineering will also be of great help. Only your love and support keeps elementary engineering going. Read Compaction of Soils at elementaryengineeringlibrary.com All the links are in the description. Thank you.